Today I'm going to show you how to log into Chapin Title Title Capture so you can start doing net sheets for your buyers and sellers. You'll go to your internet browser and you'll type in Chapin Title ChapinTitle.TitleCapture.com. Once you do this, it'll bring in the login screen. You'll go to the bottom. You'll click here to sign up for free. There you'll enter your email, first name, last name, password, and the company you work for. And you'll select uh, Karen Kasman will be your agent. And if you're a real estate agent, then you will hit sign in. Once you are signed in, then you can just log into your account. Once you're logged into your account, this will be your home screen. You have your seller net sheet, your buyer estimate net sheet, and over here you have your properties. Here you'll be able to upload your profile. You'll have your first name and last name, who you work for already in there because you filled out that when you logged in. You can put your phone number in here. You can put your Facebook URL, your Instagram URL, your Twitter URL, your LinkedIn URL, everything in there. So you have everything you need and it'll show up on all the information you give to your clients. Next, you can add your photo in there. You're going to hit photo, choose file. You'll go to a photo you have on your laptop. Pick that file, pick your photo. Once you pick your photo, you will upload your update photo. It will bring your photo in for you. Then we're going to go to default costs, and this is all a one time setup. You will not have to do this every time you log in. You could put home insurance in there, a percentage if you wanted to. Property tax, I have in at 2.625, which is a good uh, average for Grayson County. You'll hit update. This way, it'll automatically calculate your. Calculate your property tax based upon your sales price. Real estate broker commission, I had 3% and 3%. So that is in there, so you will not have to do that again. You have lender fees if you'd like to put those in. Lender fees, some lender fees have origination charges, which are approximately, say, $600. Appraisals will run about $500. Credit report is going to run about $100. Tax service is going to run about $9. Flood certification is about $10. Lender inspection fee, processing fee is going to be about $500. And then underwriting is going to be about $500. You can hit update. It will save all these fees. These are just rough estimates on what a uh, conventional loan does. They have BA loans here and they have FHA loans. We can put all these fees in there one time and it will give you a really close estimate on what the lenders um, are going to charge. It's not going to be exact, but it's going to give you a really close buyer's estimate. Once you get all that information in there, you can go straight to your buyer estimate and you can start doing your first buyer's estimate. We'll start by typing in your property address. And as you type it in, it's going to bring it up. Today we're going to do 620 North Travis. We're going to purchase with financing a conventional loan. We're going to enter our sales price, $200,000. It automatically kicks in your down payment of $40,000, but you can change that if you only wanted to put 10% down. Puts in an interest rate of 4.25. You can change your interest rate. You got your loan terms of 30 years. Your closing date. If you wanted to go June 30th. Your endorsements you will not have to change. These are title endorsements we put in there. Most all lenders use those. They're automatically filled in for you. If you wanted to enter a homeowner's insurance every time, 
You can put in there what you think it might be, or you can leave it blank. That's going to be a variable for you. Property taxes is going to already be filled out. We had the percentage, so it based upon our sales price. It's already filled out for us. If you had HOA dues on this particular property, you could fill those in here. Lend impounds are your everything to start your escrow account from your lender. And then lender fees, which we've already filled those out, so it comes pre-filled out for us. We did it in our default. Then all you have to do is hit calculate. This will bring up how much due to close. And now, like I say, this is an estimate. Has everything broken down for you? Has your principal interest, home insurance, property taxes? It does even figure mortgage insurance because we did not put in enough down payment. It has all your fees itemized out for you, all your title fees itemized out for you, your recording fees, and even an estimated taxes that you're going to get a credit for, for from the sellers on the property taxes. Here you can print this to a PDF, you can email it from here, and you can send it out to your clients. If you wanted to do a net sheet, you would do the same thing. You're going to start by typing in your property address. It'll bring it up. You click on it. Sale price of your property. Your closing date. Endorsements already filled out for you. If you knew your payoff for your clients, you could put this in here. That they still owed some money. Real estate broker commission, 3% each side. We've already pre-filled that in. Once again, homeowners association. If you wanted to add that in there, if necessary, it fills your tax proration in for you already. So you're done. You hit calculate and now you have your seller net sheet, what they're going to profit from the sale of their house. It has everything itemized out just like before. Just goes down the list of showing everything and what their net proceeds. Once again, you can print it to a PDF to email out. You can email it straight from here. You can save it or you can edit it and do it again later if you needed to. This is how to do our net sheet on our new software. Hope everybody enjoys it. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.